Good morning and welcome to our Christmas prayer service. During this season, we look to the wilderness in our own hearts, to those empty spaces in our own lives, to the desert of our deepest longings that can engulf us. The wilderness is indeed a hard place, but it's also a place of beauty and of grace, revealed by sunsets and sunrises, the immensity of ancient rock formations, and the moon shining on the desert sand. Do not be afraid of the desert places in your life, for it is here in the desert that Jesus is born anew within you, as he was 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. God of joy, we live within the joy of your unconditional love for us. Our contentment comes and goes, our happiness ebbs and flows. Our feelings depend upon our circumstances, our physical health, our brain chemistry, but our joy is deeply rooted in you who humbled yourself to become human. For this tremendous gift, we give you thanks. Amen. Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Your baby boy will one day walk on water. Never did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you know this child that you deliver? Will soon deliver you. Never did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man. Never did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? Oh, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. Oh, the lamb will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the lamb. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy 
that will be for all the people. For today the city of David, a Savior, has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. Luke chapter 2, verses 15 through 20. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. Just 
lonely soul, Lord, I shall never know the precious Lamb of God. Now, behold, there, the precious Lamb of God, born to sin that I may live He's a precious Lamb of God Oh, it's in so wide I went left, he told me to go wide But I'm standing right here In the midst of our tears Claim me to be the Lamb of God Welcome, Lord. Welcome to this earth and into our lives in this new way. It seems like the darkness has lasted for too long. And now, in the silence of this night, I feel with a deep joy the breaking light of your presence. I have longed for you to come into my life and to be with me here in this life, and you are. I feel a hint of the pure happiness and peace that awaits us in your glory. My heart bursts with joy. You have come. Thank you. Amen. Jolly deck, dolls with bows. 